Knights can do for you. I'll remind you again. The law can be both a help and a hindrance. Hey there! It's so good to see you! Morning! Don't forget, if you ever need an outrider, just come find me! Oh, hey there! It's so good to see you! I like it a lot. I'm not too fussy about where I stay. After all, as an outrider, I have to be able to adapt to all kinds of surroundings. If I had to, I could even sleep on a tree branch. <laughs> of course I am. Anyway, don't worry. This place is great. Oh, hey there. It's so good. Sure. Uh... Sorry, I'm no good at telling stories. Not like Lisa or my grandfather. They seem to be able to fit a thrilling tale into every conversation. Huh? How long have you known about that? N not that I've been hiding it from anyone. It's just that, well, you'd be flattered to read some of the entries. But it's still a bit embarrassing to just let someone else read my journal. Hmm. Uh I guess I could pick out some excerpts from my adventures if you're interested. Okay, where do I start?
happy to see you again. Can I do anything for you? I'm at... Good morning. The temperature has been fluctuating greatly as of late. So please take... Hello. Can I do anything? I love the atmosphere here, as I'm sure you'd expect. The exterior is spacious and very pleasant, and the interior is exquisitely decorated. I do believe it's the finest estate I've ever seen. The only problem is... Compared to Mondstadt, there's far too little here for a maid to do. It feels a little too relaxing. Hello. Can I do any... It would be my pleasure. Do you know something? Ever since I came here, I don't believe I've picked up a single item of lost property. I'm still not used to it. N no, they're just items I find while cleaning. For example, a faded headband under a cabinet. Or a ball hidden in a bush by a kitten. Or a, a bookmark in a corner of the library. Keys dropped at the side of the road. Oh, an unsigned letter of confession stuck in the door of the church. Oh, I always do my utmost to reunite each item with its owner. But the ones that go unclaimed remain at the Knights of Favonia's headquarters. Speaking of cleaning, this place always seems so clean and tidy. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's always very fulfilling to work here. More so than when I'm cleaning for the Knights or anywhere else. Because this is your home. Hello? Can I do any- Huh? You're- you're asking me? I- I want to take your measurements and make an outfit for you. Oh, of course. They don't call me the, uh, Wonder Maid for nothing. Oh, if you wore clothes that I made for you, most certainly be a wonderfully momentous occasion. Okay. All right, then. Excellent. Time to get busy busy again. Only, this must be the happiest kind of busy in all of Tevat. Ah, it is you. The wayfarer of a world beyond whose fate crosses mine own. Dost thou wish to present any tidings to the princessin before thee? I behold the magnificent vistas of three thousand worlds, and am intimately acquainted with the threads of past and future. Feebly does the expanse that appears before me endeavor to capture my attention. For a mortal domicile, it offers a modicum of respite. This place is but a grain of sand in the shadow of my Imanachaich. But, Main Fräulein, you previously said that you wished to stay here for a while. That... Uh, that was but to demonstrate solidarity for him, as a kindred soul of the Outrealm. It is thus thou wi- Stalled have I the inexorable march of time, and veiled the omnipresent gaze of fate. Traveler from beyond, the sovereign princessin shall arbitrate the discord of thine heart. What Main Fräulein means is that she happens to be free right now. If there is something on your mind, she is happy to listen. Preposterous! I am the Princessin Vefa Ertelang. What mortal follies could venture to imprint themselves upon my psyche? When I was out on reconnaissance, didn't the new recruits from the Adventurers Guild joke about you, since they couldn't understand what you were saying? I remember that you were distressed about this, Main Fräulein. Nonsense! How could I be perturbed by such trifling antics from my retinue? Alas, I lament that those neophytes lack semblance to you, traveler from an outer world, 
the one delivered before me by the threads of fate. The one who perceives the truth and meaning of my declarations. Yes, indeed do I perceive rightly. By my regard, should Oz be conducting reconnaissance on my behalf, I grant you permission to remain in my propinquity. Now, relay the will of the princess to her attendants. Frankly, I also think this is a good idea. Allay all doubt, for you are the one that I, the Princessin, have personally appointed. Hesitate not, and proclaim my decrees to this world's denizens. So shall it be. Rejoice! That wanton broom of devilry hath dissipated beneath my immaculate radiance. Ah, dost thou w Stars cast from the celestial tapestry are the final moments of an hourglass. Tremors erupting from the earth are the dying echoes of an ancient god's heart. Shall I usher in this world's desolate finale with none save my own shadow? Oh, blessed one. You. Would you accompany me to witness this world's end and greet the dissension of eternal night? What main Fräulein means to say is... Oh, Oz! Oh, wait, really? Are you serious? M main Fräulein? Ah, uh, um... Very good. Allow me to offer resplendent blessings to illuminate your fated travels. I, Fischl von Luftschloss Nafidot, along with my familiar of the night, Oswaldo Hafnaveins, will safeguard your path ahead, for fate has revealed to me that this be decreed. Just coming up with a new dish. Don't worry, nothing too strange. I love it! Very cozy. And there are so many new and interesting things I've never seen before. Just a shame more of them aren't potential ingredients. <laughs> but really, don't worry about it. Combining existing ingredients in new ways already allows for countless variations in flavor. The trick is to keep playing with different pairings. I've got plenty of new concepts to try out. But, um, what would really make a difference is if you could taste test them and give me some feedback. Uh, really? Great! I'll get cooking! Hello! I was just coming. Absolutely. The service isn't for a while yet, so there's nothing on the stove. Yep. Gastronomy just makes me happy. The best part is seeing smiles on my customers' faces. Those are the real fruits of my labor. Oh, and... It's really nothing to do with rare ingredients, secret recipes, or anything like that. I just use my own methods and try to bring out the best in every ingredient. Certainly seems to satisfy my customers. Still, it can be difficult at times. <laughs> that does happen, but I wasn't talking so much about the food as... Well, sometimes customers get to talking to each other and they chat for so long that their food starts to get cold. I know I shouldn't really interrupt them, but reheating the food just ruins the flavor. <sighs> yeah, I know. I guess I just have to learn to not let it get to me. <laughs> I feel a lot better after talking to you about it, though. Hello! I was just... 
I want to go adventuring with you. Taste testing is all- I want to go adventuring with you into the unknown, collect strange new ingredients from all over Tavat, and invent new recipes for you to sample. No, oh, the more I consider it, the more I think nothing could ever make me happier. Oh, you okay? You seem very quiet. Y you don't like the idea? I won't add any strange seasonings, promise! Um, what I mean is, I'll definitely get your opinion before acting on any Eureka moments. Also, I won't slow you down when we're out in the wilderness. And if I encounter any serious enemies, I promise I won't cause any trouble. First sign of danger, I'll run as fast as I can. Phew. <sighs> you scared the heck out of me. Awesome. Anyway, I'll make sure to keep working on my cooking, and any other skills that might come in handy. Anything to put a smile on your face. Hello. Is there some matter of importance you wish to discuss with me? This is a comfortable environment. A good place to be calm and gather one's thoughts. Much like the days in the Jade Chamber. Oh, you misunderstand. An environment can't be judged purely on its size or opulence. I sense the time and effort that you have put into this place which reminds me of the time and effort I myself spent when constructing the Jade Chamber. Or to put it another way, I see this as the Jade Chamber that belongs to you. Hello, is there some ma- Good night to you too. Try to relax and enjoy your- Ah, it does thou- Profess tribute, for this space is exalted by my consecration. None shall interfere with your repose. Main Fräulein says, Good night. May you have sweet dreams. Let the wind lead. It is very comfortable here. The air is fresh and the environment is restful. It is also very quiet. I think I will be able to concentrate and get a lot of work done here. Thank you. I'll be sure to keep your suggestion firmly in mind. Let the wind... Of course, it's always a pleasure to be in your company. Is there a particular topic that you wish to discuss? Uh, only a few simple songs. It's really nothing to brag about. Uh, um, uh, but I'm completely unprepared. At the very least, let me practice first. Uh, okay, I... Uh, I will do my best. Let the wind... Perhaps you could join me for a walk? I have taken what you said recently to heart and tried to make a few adjustments in my life. 
Of course, I still push myself to complete my work when performing my official duties. But when I'm with you, I'm now able to unwind. This is all thanks to you. This whole time, you have been a great companion to me. You are always so considerate of my circumstances. <laughs> it would be shameful if I didn't at least recognize this much. So thank you. Truly. Uh, um, we should walk while we talk. I still have so much I want to say to you. my mind at rest. Oh, I love it here. The scenery here is so different from Mondstadt's. I find it really refreshing. And here I can sing at the top of my voice without having to worry if I'm disturbing anyone. It's the best way to practice. Oh. It sure is nice of you to say that, but uh, still... I always need to make sure I'm being considerate of other people. Anyway, I'm really happy you invited me here. I think I'd like to stay here a little longer. Hi there. Oh, seeing you so full of life. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh. I just realized that I haven't chatted with a friend like this in a long time. I just feel so blessed all of a sudden. Oh, of course I do. That's what I'm supposed to do. I've always had so many people looking out for me. I just want to do all that is within my power to repay their kindness. Oh, please, no need to shower me with compliments. Only with constructive criticism can we grow, right? Hi there. Oh, seeing you so full. Oh, I've been practicing a new song recently. But I'm still trying to iron out a few details. When I repeat the chorus, should I go up a half step? Oh, I can't decide. And I think there's room for improvement with the dance routine, but oh, I'm not sure. If it's no trouble, I'd really appreciate it if you could watch my performance and give me your suggestions. Thank you. Um, oh, please don't laugh at me if there are parts that still need practicing. Well, I've thought about this a lot of times in the past, but it's taken me this long to finally pluck up the courage to perform for you at such close distance. Oh, if you laughed at me, there'd be nowhere I could run from my embarrassment. <sighs> okay. Then, let the show begin. When did you arrive? I was completely lost in thought. Ah, your concern for my well-being. Well, aren't you just the sweetest? You really know how to make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Don't you worry. I love it here. Not at all. I think what makes this place so special is the fact that it was built personally by you. If I were to start nitpicking, it would only ruin your creativity and the unique charm you bring to the place. I certainly wouldn't want that to happen.
if it isn't my favorite client. It's been a while. How are things? Hmm, by the looks of it, nowhere near dire enough for you to be needing my services. Uh, a shame. No more to be made here. Great, very well. I feel right at home, actually. Maybe you've forgotten, but this whole subspace creation thing is nothing new to me. Well, it can be a little... It's not my forte, okay? Anyway, I'm all settled in here now. Making my own would just be redundant. You should worry about yourself, not me. Hey, look who it is. Your bones are still holding you up then? Yeah, pretty good. Feels nice to sit and relax in such a scenic place. But... <laughs> you get me. Days spent sailing through a storm, conquering the surging waters. <sighs> yeah, those are happy days. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled that you invited me here. I'll have to return the favor sometime by hosting you on board the ship. in the daytime without anyone watching and there aren't too many things to uh remember notebook no notebook who is that again no need i will be fine don't forget chi chi is stronger than she looks It's you. <laughs> All clear. No scent of alcohol on you. Hmm. <laughs> Adequate. Well, the grass here isn't as soft as the spot where I usually take my afternoon nap. There aren't as many butterflies here as in the meadow I like to go to. And I can't hunt freely here like out in the wilderness. But there's no smell of alcohol hanging in the air here. And no drunkards kicking up a fuss. So, I think we can keep it the way it is. There's no like or dislike. I'm not particular with my residences. But it is certainly more comfortable here than at the cathedral. At least no one's going to wake me up for morning prayer and prevent me from catching up on my sleep. <laughs> Thanks for your concern. I just have a few things to take care of. I've lived this way for such a long time, it'd be strange to change. Perhaps I'm more comfortable here than I thought I was. I'm getting soft. That won't do. Yo, hey there. Need some music? I'm in tip-top shape. Yeah! There's enough space and freedom 
Oh, what a great rehearsal venue. Uh, uh well, if it's all right, I'd rather perform for you after I practice up. That'll give you the best listening experience. But thanks for your cheers. I'll do my best. Oh, right. After each rehearsal, I'll make sure to tidy up after myself. Don't worry. I'll have this place like new. Looks like you're pretty free today. If you're asking from the perspective of comfort, I like it very much. But in my professional opinion, I think there's a lot of potential here that's not really being fully utilized. I mean, for starters, you don't even have to worry about mitigating natural disasters, or any other external risk factors for that matter. So that makes your land use planning process a whole lot simpler. The main consideration for you is how to make the best use of the available space. Beyond that, you really want to think about the proportional allocation of resources. Uh, uh, don't mind me. I slipped back into work mode. <laughs> Do whatever you like. It's your home, after all. You should be the one to shape it. Hello. Hmm. Sure. Why not? And though I should warn you, most people aren't exactly enamored with my conversation. Well, for example, a colleague once asked me, Is there anything I can help you with, Ms. Kuching? To which I replied, You can start by worrying about your own work rate. After that, they never approached me again. Another person asked me, Do you have any gift suggestions for Lady Ningguang? To which I replied, don't bother, Ningguang has no time for suck-ups. Yeah. Anyway, so now you know. Yeah. I just think if you've got something to say, there's no point mincing your words. Sugarcoating the facts, kind lies, it's all a big waste of everyone's time. Exactly. See? You understand where I'm coming from. I was right all along. We've got a lot in common. Hello. Hmm. Looks like you're pretty- Sure. Let's arrange an evening when both of us are free. A little while ago, I took some time to survey every inch of this place. I found three locations where the scenery was quite beautiful. It really resonated with me. One of them was perfect for stargazing. So... Are you interested? It's not really a hobby. Personally, I consider it... a reward for completing a stage of my work. Rare blessings like these, we mustn't let them go to waste. Now that I know you don't have any reservations, you better go and work it into your schedule. The sooner the better as far as I'm concerned. Hello! If you have any outstanding work, feel free to delegate it to me. I think it's beautiful here. It must have been quite an undertaking to decorate such a large space. Thank you for all your efforts. In my spare time, I particularly enjoy taking strolls outside. It's so quiet and peaceful. Even at midday, it's perfectly safe to take a nap. Agreed. So I really do like it here. Anyway, um, thanks so much once again. Hello. If you have any outstanding... Sure. But I may not be able to offer any practical advice if our topic of discussion is not work-related. Oh, uh, all right. You know, I used to agonize a lot over whether to try and integrate into human society. When our workload is light, 
my coworkers sometimes organize social events. But my strict vegetarian diet is completely different from everyone else's. And I don't really share their interest in shopping or lively forms of entertainment. Sometimes they can be quite critical. People say that my whole mindset is just fundamentally different from an ordinary person's. But what can I do? It's hard to change your habits when they've been that way for thousands of years. Then it would only be proper for me to offer you something in return. Shall I take you out? For a meal? In a restaurant? Great! With your help, I'm sure I'll be able to integrate into human society in no time. Hello! If you have any outstanding... I thought maybe we could plant some flowers together. Or some other plants, like vegetables. Yes, indeed. You could say it's my greatest hobby, aside from work. Though in the past, I've been reluctant to grow vegetables. I always worried that I wouldn't be able to control my appetite and I'd end up eating them all in one sitting. But I'm sure that if I grow them together with you, I'll definitely be able to control myself. No. Uh, you don't understand. I... I... I put on weight very easily, and... If my appearance changed, then perhaps... I, I mean, the way people see me... Well, uh, the way you see me. Oh! Uh... Still, I... I think it would be best to share them with you. You know, first rule of gardening. Grow together, eat together. Anyway... I'll go, uh, fetch some seeds. I'll make sure they're the very best. Research is progressing smoothly. Oh, uh, please don't worry about me. As long as there's a dedicated laboratory, I am more than satisfied. Your home far exceeds my needs. Oh, um, I'd feel guilty to trouble you, but I greatly appreciate your kindness. It means a lot. It's been a while. How have you been? The atmosphere is pleasant, and to my liking. Everything comes from nothing, and that which is small becomes large one step at a time. While I've lived many years, I'm not inflexible enough to be incapable of appreciating youthful trends. Your taste always sets others at ease. It's been a while. How have you been? That would be my pleasure. What would you like to discuss? The past. Then let us find a free day to take our time and talk. A millennium's worth of stories cannot be told in one moment. If you wish to be comfortable while listening, we'll need a pot of fine tea, two quality chairs, and a pleasing courtyard. <laughs> Don't trouble yourself. This place will do just fine. We can sit down and take our time chatting. It's been a while. How have you been? As of late, I've been thinking about housing arrangements. This residence of yours has unique scenery and elegant furnishings which I find very attractive. I frequently come and go. Excuse my disturbances. Speaking of such things, I ought to contribute something to your realm. And so, if it does not bother you, I would like to find a gift for you. A pity. As they say, only a mighty sword is worthy of a mighty hero. 
A gift befitting you truly is difficult to come by. Fortunately, we have plenty of time, so there's no need to rush a decision. While I may no longer be the Geo Archon, I can be considered an old-fashioned citizen of Liu. I have my courtesy. When the time comes, please, accept it without worries. Hmm. <laughs> as long as you agree to accept it. I have witnessed much from you. Our time is boundless. A carefree life relies upon a resolute and clear heart. Being with you like this is truly a lively and joyous experience. Thank you, friend. Hello. Looking... I like. The smell here is your smell. Good smell. Smell of safety. Adjusting? Hmm. Adjusting. Here, with you, I am happy. Well, hello. I didn't expect to see you again so... Oh, I feel quite at home already. Hmm, although, I feel that at home doesn't express my feelings in their entirety. Surprised is more how I'd describe the feeling I had when I first set eyes on this place. Exactly that. It's more beautiful than I imagined. It's been a while since I moved here, though, so the initial sense of surprise has mostly worn off. Now, this place feels comfortable, like somewhere I belong. <laughs> Who'd have thought? on cue. I was just wondering whether you might appear. Even if it were to exist solely upon the page, this teapot realm would not fail to inspire. And yet here I am, perceiving it with my own senses. Naturally, I couldn't be happier. Not to mention... Well, I can read at my leisure here for hours on end, without any fear of interruption. Ah, the perfect getaway. Shh, not so loud. I wouldn't dream of neglecting any of that. But please, don't let anyone else hear you talking about it. My father and brother are always ready to give me another earful. Right on key. I was just one... But of course. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. Tell me, what have you been doing recently? Magnificent! Acts of pure chivalry were the sound of it. Oh, how, how I would love to take up the sword with you, pursuing justice throughout the land. <laughs> a pity that it will have to wait until some point in the future. But if we're talking about the here and now... Oh, I got it! Why don't we have ourselves a little contest? First to a hundred chivalrous acts wins. There are no restrictions on the nature of the act or the beneficiary, but you need to keep a tally. Once the act is completed, it should be verified by the other party. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't mind me. Just don't expect to win too easily. 
Have you been well? Strange anecdotes. Rumors of evil spirits? If you come across such news, please remember to share them with me. Hmm. If you ask me, it would be a nice place to settle down in. This realm isn't as cool as the snowy mountains, but I don't need to worry about being scorched by the sun or sudden temperature changes. I can concentrate on training, since there's no need to worry about the effects of my yang energy. If I do, I have to carry a parasol around and keep an eye on the sun. Anyway, thank you for inviting me to such a cozy place. If you need anything from me, I'll help out. <laughs> hey there! Looks like my luck is pretty good today. It's awesome. It sure beats sleeping out in the open when adventuring. Way better. You don't need to find a hole in a tree to rest in, and you don't have to worry about sneak attacks from monsters. Rocks crashing from the sky, whopper flowers popping out of nowhere. W really? Awesome! I'm so lucky to have someone as nice as you as a partner. <laughs> Looks like I'll be bothering you a bunch from now on. <laughs> 